right? Hands on the on the ball, please. See your hair? Keep your hands on there. I'm going to bring the camera close. Very long. Oh, it's a great. All right, you can see all. Oh, that's cool. You can see all the individual strands of hair standing up. So each individual strand of her hair is negatively charged and is repelling each other because of her contact with the Van de Graaff. Wow. All right. Now, Taylor, what's your feeling right now? It should feel like you just grabbed a big bunch of clothes out of the dryer and you got all that static charge. Okay. You have a mohawk. Alright, you are fine to take your hands off. You can see her hair going down a little bit, but it's still charged. She's, she's still electrically charged. Stick your elbow out. You're good. The dome is negatively charged. Anybody touching the dome becomes positively charged on their fingertips and negatively charged in their hands. Um, do you want to or do you not? Solid. You don't have to. Take for the I'm not going to make you yeah. go if you don't want to. Taylor volunteered, so I'm not going to make you go. Right? You didn't use any gel in your hair, did you? Don't break the box. All right. Stand on the box. I want to go. You remember the sequence, right? Holy <laughs> Hands, machine on, machine off, hands, elbows. Okay? If you don't do the sequence, then you're going to get shot. I want to see Tommy die. That is not nice. You're going up next to me. You're a bad friend. Tommy. All right. Shh. Tommy. I see you. You're right there. That's what you look like. <laughs> So you can see all the individual strands of hair standing up on Tommy's head. Shake your head. See, it's all separating and standing up. which indicates that he's still electrically charged. <laughs> That's why I don't get on it, because I barely have any to begin with. But I still want to, I still want to feel it. All right. So you remember the sequence. We've gone through it a couple times. Everybody, I want to go next. Go ahead. Uh, see, see, even though it's very humid in the classroom, we're able to get pretty dramatic results because the machine generates so much more voltage than the electrophorus. Think about it in your head. I am positive, the dome is negative. 
If I positively charge the balloon, what is it going to do? It wants to repel from me. The dome is negative. What does it want to do? Attract. So Chica says what's going to happen is after I touch the, the balloon, it's going to go over to the dome. Once it touches the dome, it becomes negatively charged. So Cheyenne, what's going to happen at that point? It's going to be repelled from the dome and attracted to me. Once it touches me, it's going to become positively charged again. So what you're going to see, and it will look funny, but it's physics at, at work, is that the balloon is going to bounce between the two of us. So now I'm holding onto the balloon. The balloon is positively charged. Here we go. It's actually going through my hair, so it's not. It doesn't shock me as much. Darn. That's not really funny. Now it's going to ow. Through the eye. Wait, what? Am I going to you? That's what was traveling through you guys as you were standing up here holding onto the dome. That's why I told you not to step up because if you stepped onto the ground. One of those bolts would go from you into the ground and you would get shocked. Dang, that's when I hit your elbow, one of those went through me and into the ground. I'm sorry, Mr. Young. You better. Okay. 